Hey, what up now, Fukun here, and well, I am back from <laughs> the college life. I mean, I just finished dealing with a lot of exams right now, and holy shit, thank god I passed everything. <laughs> and well, the thing is that, I mean, the reason why I'm in a different position right now, like in my streaming setup right now, it is because one, I mean, my camera just died, so, um, rest in peace or whatever and well i sent it for repairs thank god for warranty and either either it's gonna get repaired or they're gonna give me my money back to get a new one which either one works fine i prefer the money back because then i can use it on a sony cv e10 which i heard is much more better in a way but yeah other than that like it's been going good, good, and the thing is I haven't really been catching up to any anime at all, so <laughs> I really need to catch up on that, and well, I haven't watched any of the fall 2021, which is what we currently are right now in the moment that I'm recording this video, and <laughs> I haven't watched Komi-san at all, and I keep seeing the clips and I'm just like, damn it, I want to fucking watch it. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, like, it's been going good, good. Once I'm done recording this and also streaming as well, I'm actually going to start, um, watching some more anime <laughs> hopefully i can catch up to a lot of anime <laughs> but yeah on um, this is not actually what we're gonna talk about like me ranting but we're basically gonna talk about the upcoming season that's coming out right now which i'm looking forward to it and also i'm looking forward to the anime convention i'm going to which let me show y'all real quick <laughs> that i am going here to anime fest and I am so looking forward to it. Like I haven't been there for two years and well, I get to go finally after a long time, December 17 to 19, and I'm gonna join the living hell out of it. <laughs> Thank God they gave me my tickets <laughs> for free because I bought it two years ago and they canceled. So yeah, that happened. But yeah, overall, we're not really gonna talk about this. So let's talk about the upcoming anime, which is Winter 2022, which holy shit, there's a lot of good stuff coming out right now. <laughs> but yeah, let's see the upcoming anime that's coming out. I know there have been a few uh, animes coming out uh, a little bit earlier than supposed to in the Winter 2022, but I mean, I do want to catch up onto everything that I missed from fall to winter as well. But yeah, this is the upcoming anime, and one anime I'm looking in particular, it is... Uh, is, is this point you're right? Well, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to the second uh, part of... <laughs> of <laughs> oh god, Attack on Titan, yo, final, final, final season part two, like holy shit, it's... Yo, so we're starting off the new year with Attack on Titan and it's ending, and it's gonna be like... A hyped up year and also gonna be a sad year seeing the anime end but I mean all good things must end and I I am so fucking looking forward to this like they left us uh, with a few things hanging in there and well finally they're starting to catch up into the ending of the anime I haven't read the manga at all so that's a good thing so I don't spoil it for myself or for y'all and well an another anime I'm looking forward to it is <laughs> this one over here so Demon Slayer a new season's coming out and I haven't watched the movie at all <laughs> and that's on me honestly because I really need to catch up on the movie I wanted to watch it but I mean school classes haven't really giving me the opportunity to watch it at all like trying to sit your ass uh, on your computer for three hours it is just hard when you're a college student like it is just very hard and well what i'm gonna try to do right now since i'm on vacation right now basically i am gonna try to watch the anime movie and then watch this series <laughs> which holy shit i am so much looking forward to it and also the anime right next to it here which I'm surprised though that they actually decided to come out with Arifutera uh, the second season because I'm um, not gonna lie though the CGI was really horrible but at least the anime storyline was pretty alright like I, I wouldn't say it was top tier or anything like that but it was it was alright hopefully they can improve on the animations here because what I'm looking at right now I think it's from a different studio from the previous um, season looks like a completely different studio that the that is working on maybe maybe not i don't know i am <laughs> oh no never mind actually the previous studio is working on it and it's the studio that also worked on the diary anime here <laughs> 
which surprisingly, I mean, the diary anime is much, which is way better animated than the other defeated us anime here. But yeah, other than that, I mean, I am hoping to watch it. I mean, I did enjoy the first season. I tried to read the manga, like I tried to get physical copies of a manga instead of watching it digitally, well, reading it digitally. And the thing is that it is almost impossible to find a <laughs> physical manga unless you can buy it online and well I was a, uh, well I mean I bought my PC and all that so I was broke during that time so I couldn't really purchase it at the moment so hopefully well thank god I didn't purchase it so I can just watch the anime without like spoiling it for myself at all <laughs> so that's a good thing and well let's see what other animes are here in fall 2022 so this other anime came out right now as well um let me just open it real quick. Uh, what is it called again? Uh, my dress up darling. So, uh, my dress up darling. Is that how they name it is? Okay, okay. Uh, but I guess, uh, me, I mean, I watched the trailer for this anime. Holy shit, it looks fucking good, which surprised me, to be honest. And I don't even know which studio this anime is working on, so. Uh, which is it? Uh, let's see. Studio Cloverwork. I don't think I've ever heard of them. Oh, okay, never mind. I, I, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> holy shit, I actually did uh, Bunny Girl Senpai. Oh, okay. Oh, I, yo, I've seen this one. Like, I've seen clips of it and, and like, it's funny. Shamefully, I haven't watched the full anime and I am ashamed of that. So and that's what I mean. Like, I'm trying to catch up into some anime right now. <laughs> so that's what I've been trying to do for these past two days since I got my vacation. But overall, like, I seen the trailer for this anime and well, uh, it's basically about this guy that like starts doing like sewing and all that and well this girl, the most popular girl in the school basically sees him like sewing small clothes and all and well the thing is she actually is a like, cosplayer and well she asked him, this guy over here to like um, cosplay, like create cosplays for her which it, I think it's an interesting concept seeing like uh, the behind the scenes how cosplay works because I honestly have no idea how cosplay works. I know you dress up but I don't know how like sewing and then coming up with the idea and like the whole entire thing process like I don't know how that works at all. So this is gonna be a fun like, anime to watch like try to see the background like the behind the scenes when it comes to cosplay so yeah this is gonna be kind of interesting What's I was about to say that I was gonna watch it but I'm gonna say this right now I'm gonna try to watch it since I mean I am doing a terrible job watching anime right now at the moment so yeah <laughs> that's going on but let's see what other animes is there that may interest me oh okay so this anime is coming out uh, Princess Connect which I watched the first season, it was actually quite wholesome and <laughs> funny as well. This is like a lower tier of Konosuba in a way. Instead, like, it is reversed, like, instead of... No, I wouldn't say reverse, but basically it's like sort of like the Konosuba concept in a way. I know this is a beta game as well, which I have never played it, so... Don't quote me on anything, what I'm about to say, because I don't know nothing about the video game, but I did watch the first season, I enjoyed it. It was funny how this guy, like, <laughs> he was quiet, he couldn't talk, and well, he got into a lot of mess. <laughs> like, way too many messes. Like, he was a magnet for messes. But let's see, what other animes is there that I can watch this season that's coming up? Hopefully there's something, at least that may interest me, that I'm actually going to, like, fully dedicate myself. I know I'm gonna watch Arifutera completely, for sure. Like, I enjoyed watching that anime like, just for the plot, not the animations. The animation were kind of garbage. But yeah, let's see what else is there. Um, okay, so there's this anime here. The Genius Prince's Guys to Raise a Nation Out of Depth. Uh, I think we already had something like this before. I'm not sure. I'll probably post it up there, but I don't think... I forgot the... Sorry, no. I forgot the name of the anime, but I know we had... Lately, there have been coming out like animes like this ever since the I talked about uh, I watched the black uh, anime company Which if y'all want to check out the video that I talked about it links will be down below But overall like ever since that happens like that anime was based on like like uh, about mad not math but more like financial uh, ideas uh, like climbing from the bottom all the way to the top by like 
playing the economic game, basically. And I'm guessing a lot of anime coming up with that idea. But let's read the synopsis. It ain't easy being a genius. Prince Wayne is ready to commit treason and who can blame him faced with the impossible task of ruling his pathetic little kingdom oh okay <laughs> i'm surprised he called his own kingdom pathetic but all right this poor guy just can't catch a break but his brilliant idea of auctioning off his country this lazy prince should be able to retire once and for all okay I, I actually didn't know that you can actually auction your own country off but okay okay or that was the plan until his Tre tre um, sorry, I can't spell today. Treasonous uh, schemes led to a disastrous consequence, namely accidental uh, victories in favor of his people. Okay, so I have no idea what the treason is, to be honest. I'm guessing that the people favored it fa are in the favor now. Not the royalty, I guess. Like, the royalty got probably overthrown or something. I'm guessing that's what's going on. But, I mean, let's see what studio worked on it. I mean, I'm actually quite interested on it. Uh, let's see. Studio Yohama Animation Labs. I never heard of this studio before. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> okay. I see what they've been working on. <laughs> um... So, <laughs> I, I, I heard about these two animes and holy shit, they're very popular among the anime community. Especially the ecchi. These two ecchi ones, like holy shit. Jujutsu Kaisen though, uh, why are you referring to like this? This like an OVA that you're referring to or something? But I'm not going to put too much into mind. But I mean, like overall, it looks alright. I mean, it's not going to be probably not going to be in my priority list or anything like that. So... Yeah, that's. I just I just looked at it just because it looked interesting the <laughs> the cover art. But let's see what else is there to watch. Yo, like I'm checking right now, and yo, there's a lot to watch. Like holy shit, Th there's a lot of animes to watch. I I don't know I'm gonna be able to keep up with next season, so <laughs> I'm gonna need to pack my bags and start watching a bunch of anime. Lock myself into my room probably for 24 hours and try to watch anime. Unfortunately, I can't really do that because I also gotta like um work and all that. So that <laughs> that's gonna be almost an impossible task. But I mean, I can do it in a day off or something. But let's see. Uh, there. There is like holy shit a shit ton of animes that are coming out like it is hard to choose to be honest because some of this might be hidden gems I'm seeing a lot of them here. Uh, oh this one actually caught my attention a bit So this one dolls frontline Which which studio worked on this? Uh, let me check real quick Asahi productions Oh, I seen Peach. I seen Peach Boy. No, that that went out real quick <laughs> Nah, 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 but I mean let's see what else have they worked on? No, it doesn't... No, I don't... I honestly do not recognize none of these animes at all. I guess there's a, not a well-known studio, I guess. But let's see the synopsis. Like, just the cover art got me interested, so I might as well read it once I read, clicked on it. After Third World War... Third World War. Oh, okay, so... Um, <laughs> probably in the future. Uh, nations devastated by biological warfare no longer have the ability to protect the wastelands. Wait, what? Uh, so, <laughs> the defense of these territories is left to private military companies like Griffin and Kruger? 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 Whatever. Uh, whose android soldiers or tactical dolls are tasked with fighting the rogue android army of Savagis Sankvis Ferry. What's with the n weird names? Uh, now, M4A1, the Indecisive but potentially capable leader of the elite and terrain team must protect her comrades in a series of operations to try and regain the upper hand against uh, Sangvis Ferry. I really can't spell that. But I guess this is like a post-apocalyptic anime maybe? Yeah, it gives like those vibes to be honest. But let's see, uh, source genre action drama sci-fi. Okay, so it might might actually be a post-apocalyptic post anime, so that's nice to know there's something like that coming out. I mean, maybe I might try to watch it, maybe, maybe not. I mean, I did, I just saw the studio and it's not well known, so... But let's just check it out for the plot later in the future. I might talk about it, I might talk shit about it, or it might actually be good. Who knows? 
I mean, you never expect, <laughs> you can never like predict what, how the anime is gonna turn out to be unless like they give you a really shitty trailer, which I should look at the trailer, but I'm not going to because I don't want to get my ass copyrighted at the moment. So that's that. But let's see what else other animes are there out here. Oh, okay. So there is one that I just found right now. Like this is a slice of life anime from uh, Cloverwork called uh, Akevi Cellular Uniform and well it looks kind of adorable to be honest but let's check it out. So the synopsis is Akevi Kom Komichi lives out in the countryside with her family. She won entrance to the prestigious uh, Robai Academy Middle School for Girls and now she wants only two things to wear the school's cellular uniform and to make a hundred friends. Uh, let's be honest, it is... <laughs> whenever they say a hundred friends, they, they're probably gonna only find one friend. <laughs> but when it comes to anime, like, uh, it's a 50-50. But oh well, I mean, this anime looks kind of adorable, to be honest. And well, the studio Cloverwork, I don't... I think I've heard of it before, or have I looked at... Yeah, bro. I'm, I'm dumb. I'm, I am so stupid. <laughs> like it is the same company that worked on Bunny Girl Senpai and they did a goddamn good job with the anime. And so yeah, might, might actually be a hidden gem this anime. So who knows? But yeah, overall, I guess this should end the video now since I mean, there's a lot of animes, but none of them are like really catching my attention to be honest. And well, I guess that's pretty much ends the video for today. I mean, I'm also gonna make another video when I go to the anime convention, record it, see how that goes. And well, I'm actually gonna try to catch up on some anime. And well, I will see y'all on the next video or the stream, which uh, links will be down below if you want to check out my Twitch stream, which will be twitch.tv uh, slash nowfukun. And well, uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram for any news that any upcoming things I might do later on the stream or videos maybe but yeah that's pretty much all what i have to say and thank you guys for watching and i will see y'all next time bye now